President. Uh, Mr. President, with me today is one of my colleagues from my office, Mr. Matt Turner. Um, I, I want to talk about uh, the woolly mammoth in the room, impeachment. And I want my colleagues to just put aside for a second the legal aspect of this. Um, just stop thinking for a second about how many lawyers can dance on the, on the head of a pen. And let's just think for a moment what's about to happen over the next two days. A few moments ago, the managers from the United States House of Representatives came over. Every member of the Senate was here and seated and read their articles of impeachment, their charges about Secretary Mayorkas. The United States House of Representatives, did you notice I said that? Representatives of the United States House of Representatives came over to us. As I said the other day, we're not talking about some, some snow bro who likes chicken McNuggets and weed and has an opinion. We're not talking about some, uh, some game boy who's living in his parents' basement and has an opinion. Though both of them are entitled to their opinion. But this is America, because this is America. We're talking about the United States House of Representatives. For months, they investigated the open, bleeding wound that is the southern border and why it is open and why it is bleeding. And after investigating it, not for days, not for weeks, for months, the United States House of Representatives voted two articles, two charges in an impeachment of Secretary Mayorkas. And those are serious charges. They're as serious as four heart attacks and a stroke. The first one is willful and systemic refusal to comply with the law. Not negligence. Willful and systemic refusal to comply with the law. The second charge is breach of the public trust. Breach of the public trust. Serious, serious charges. Now this doesn't happen every day or every week or every month or even every year around here. Our country is almost 250 years old. This has only happened 22 times. 22 times has the United States House of Representatives impeached a public official. And every single time, check, the, check it, go, go Google it. Every single time, you can write this down, take it home to mama. Every single time, Except when the public official has quit, the United States Senate has done its job through thick and thin, whether the Democrats were in the majority or the Republicans were in the majority. Didn't matter who the president was. We did our job because we respect the institution of the Constitution. We, expect, we, we respect the three branches of government. We respect the United States House of Representatives. We respect them enough to do our job. We held a trial every single time, except when the public official quit. 
Now, in the next two days, you're going to hear one of my colleagues, the majority leader, say we don't need to hold a trial. He's going to say the evidence is insufficient. It's not, not worth our time. I want you to, to, to think for a moment. Just ask yourself this question. How does he know the evidence isn't sufficient? How does he know he hadn't heard the evidence? What you're about to see, folks, it breaks my heart to say this. Over the next two days, what you're going to see is it's not about the evidence. It's, uh, it's not about the law. It's not about the process. It's not about, but should be, 250 years of, of precedent in history. It's about raw gut politics. Raw gut politics. Some of my colleagues in this body do not want us to talk about the border in, in an election year. And we all know that. You know that. I know that. Everybody watching know, knows that. The American people know that. They may be poorer under President Biden, but they're not stupid. They can see that. And that's not right. It is fatuate, fatuous. It is fraudulent. Regardless of what you think, or you may, or you may think you think without having heard the evidence, the United States Senate should do its job. He should, we should hold a trial. Now, my Democratic friends have the votes. They can, have, they can do pretty much what they want to. Okay? They, they, can, they can make a... Uh, they, 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 when you've got the, the, the votes, you know, you can... What's the old expression? Um, you, you, can make a, you can make a koala bear eat hot, hot peppers and like it. If you've got the votes. They got the majority, and I, I believe in, the, in the, the rule of law and the rules are the rules. But sometimes... Sometimes the majority just means that all of the fools are on the same side. That's why we have a Bill of Rights in our Constitution to protect our rights that the majority can't take away. And I want to say this as respectfully as I can, because I understand politics. I've been, in, I've been in this business for a while. You have too, Mr. President. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen the dark side of it too. I've seen the good side, but I've seen the dark side of it. And what I'm seeing right now is the dark side. I'm seeing the dark side. This is a political decision. And it's an insult to the Senate. And it's one more step of the United States Senate rotting from within where we don't do our job for political reasons. So I'm, I'm asking my Democratic colleagues with as, I say this gently, with, with as much respect as I can muster, uh, pretty please, pretty please, pretty please with sugar on top. Let's do our job. Just because you had the votes, don't dismiss this, uh, these, the, 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 these impeachment proceedings summarily, like it's spam in your inbox. The United States Senate needs to do its job. Um, Mr. President, I suggest the absence of a quorum. Thank you. Clerk will call a roll. Ms. Baldwin.